So next order of business is just to give this thing a couple more aesthetic edits. Um, I guess the first thing, I just don't like the fact that this gray ends right here at the bottom of this, but uh, at the bottom of the table, but I don't necessarily like that gray background. F well, I don't like the gray background for the center. I don't like the blue and red either, but for right now, I'm kind of uh, trying to focus my efforts on this cell. So in order to actually edit that, I'm just going to change the the center. Um, is it the center? Let's see. Okay, that, I think that part, here we go. There's two center tags. So uh, I'm going to look at where this, the center background's coming from. If you look at the code that we got from a list apart, they have, they're kind of broken up in two parts. The essential code, which is really the layout, and just for looks. So it's just for looks that we could take it out, that we could take out um, some of the cosmetic things. And since it's defining that background color for the center div, I'm going to take it out. Here we go. Now it's white. I kind of like that. We have two hooks because I'm going to add a top and bo I'm going to add two colors to the top and to the bottom over here. Interesting that we don't have um, a box for our caption over here, which I'm thinking I don't even want. So the first thing I'm going to do while we're doing it is I'm going to give caption a display none because it's not really doing anything for me. Um, I'm just not liking it, so I just find it kind of just simply unnecessary. So caption, and I'll give this thing a display none value, and that'll just hide that, hide it all together. So that'll just, boop, take it right out, pushes the table all the way up. Now I want the T head and T foot to have two different color backgrounds. Why don't I have them be the same color? I don't know. I'll have them be some kind of gray color. So, do I did I group these together yet? T head and T body. Nope, not yet. So I'm going to create a new. I'll just go right down here and just create it manually, like I like doing anyway. So, here we go. And it's going to be T head, not header or T head. And then I'll copy the rest of that stuff and go T foot. And I'll go back. Oh, why does my automatic code come up? There we go. Background color. Give it a gray. Make sure I put that semicolon. All right. Well, that's good so far. Actually, that's a little dark. I wonder why my. Ah. I just have foot in there instead of T foot. Okay. There we go. Cool. So far, so good. And now, um, pretty easy effect you could use is um, a little hover effect. And that's done. You know how, like, when you want to change the. Um, the link, the color of a link when it's hovered over, you use the. A colon hover. Well, you could use that on any element, really. I mean, especially as of Internet Explorer 7. So, well, I don't want to say any, but most, a lot more than it used to be. So, what I'm going to do is just actually do just that. Is I'm going to add um, a hover effect to to my table rows. I want the whole row to get. Well, let me show you exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to put container center. Then TR for table row, and then colon hover. That's similar to what you've used in the past for links. And now I'm going to give them a background color, the same as what I applied to the header and footer. So now, if I refresh this, it, ah, you see what's happening? Every time I hover over it, if I hover over the entire row, it's going to make it a little bit darker. Now. Obviously, if you did table data, not the same thing's going to happen. It's only going to be a table uh, cell specific. See that? And I think even if we put, well, 
I'm getting carried away now. But you could use you could use them all. All the different ones. Let's see. For active, we could put it lime green. I'm see when now that I'm clicking on it, it has that effect. I don't know if I want to necessarily have that happen just because uh, they're clicking on an empty cell. It sounds kind of seems kind of silly, so I'm gonna take that out. But what I do like so far is this effect of when they're hovering over. Oops. Let me give it. That they're hovering over the TD now, just the one cell. But I want them when they hover over the entire row. Let me show you. Make sure you see this code and what it looks like. There it is. So I have. This is the code doing that. I'm targeting inside of the container, inside of the cell. There's a table row, and then colon the pseudo class hover that's actually doing that effect providing that every time the user here we go every time the user hovers over they're going to end up having the background get a little bit darker 